on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. I am so excited for this episode because we're gonna be breaking down a very common gardening misconception and one that I would not really classify as a myth because there is some truth to it, but I wanna break it down in a way that's going to be easy for you to understand and really help you out to separate the information from the misinformation. So the misinformation that I wanna break down today is surrounding a topic that commonly comes up around this time of year about pest deterrence, specifically talking about hot pepper sprays. So many people go on the internet in a panic and research how to deter aphids or how to uh, get rid of aphids or how to kill white flies and things like that. Um, and they usually get a very common answer by places, uh, by blogs that really don't have all the facts, um, that have heard it from someone who's read it from someplace else that didn't have the facts. And it becomes a game of telephone. And that's really what I don't like about the internet is that there's not a lot of people that are deep diving. There's not a lot of people that are actually digging in deep to look at the facts, to look at the research being done on these specific topics and so usually they start with a bit of research and that bit of research is misconstrued um, or misunderstood. And then that is said uh, in a different way. And then, and then it constantly, once it's, one is, once it is already diverted from the original facts, it ends up being so far from the truth that you really might as well just call it untrue. And even though it did start somewhere in truth, and that's why I'm very careful at classifying it as a myth versus misinformation because when it surrounds the topic of hot pepper sprays, this time of year, our inbox is loaded with uh, questions about using hot pepper sprays. And um, you go on the internet, you read a lot of these blogs, uh, a lot of these blogs will say um, to deter aphids or kill aphids um, or any of these garden pests, use hot pepper spray. Take the hottest peppers you can find, habaneros, um, ghost peppers, what you, whatever you can find, as, as hot as hot, gets spray your crops with them and what that will do is it will essentially kill the aphids or kill the white flies because they don't like the heat from the peppers because they're assuming that uh, because it's hot for you and I it's an adjutant or a, uh, an irritant for any other uh, any other insect eating that crop and where that becomes untrue is because uh, hot peppers contain a chemical called capsaicin. And capsaicin is an oil-based chemical that only mammals can sense. We have special uh, taste buds on our tongue that mammals have that when we, uh, when we actually ingest capsaicin, it registers in the brain as painful and hot. And that causes us to have a reaction to the capsaicin that then makes us uh, feel hot. We get sweaty, we get uncomfortable, we feel pain. And that is why we, why we sense capsaicin as what it is. But to anything other than a mammal, what is capsaicin? It's simply an oil. It's simply an oil and that is all it is. And so the problem is, is we're essentially spraying our crops with a very hot oil. And you're doing one of two things. You're number one, you're not really killing the plant. You're not really killing the pests, which we'll get into why in a second. And second, you are, um, you're actually spraying a hot pepper on your plants that then you go to eat it later and you wonder why so often people uh, find that their, that their flavors are tainted. You know, it might be their beans or their broccoli or their, their tomatoes. It's, there's a heat to it, there's a hot, there's a spiciness that they don't really like. They don't really find it very palatable. And that's because there's residual capsaicin still on the crops that the white flies or aphids, they laughed at. And meanwhile, you're not able to actually eat the crops because let's face it, it's kind of gross to taste uh, a, a hot, you know, a hot lettuce leaf or uh, taste a hot tomato. It's, it tends to not really be very natural. So it tends to do those two things. And then it discourages a lot of gardeners because it doesn't uh, actually rid the problem. So why doesn't it typically work once you spray your crops with a hot pepper spray? It's because whatever you're spraying has already reached its adult stage. You see, we go back to the fact that hot peppers really, they don't do anything, the heat doesn't really do anything, but the capsaicin is an oil-based, uh, is actually an oil-based chemical. Anytime you have an oil, it's a very good smothering agent. Smothering occurs when you spray the crop or spray the oil on, uh, on a crop that has eggs. Those eggs are coated in that oil and what happens is it doesn't allow the eggs to breathe. Eggs must breathe and so they have a very breathable membrane. 
And then what happens is because they can't breathe, they then suffocate and die. So any type of oil you'll find this to be true with. You could take a vegetable oil, you could take a, a peppermint oil, or even you could take something like a lemongrass oil. And they have the same exact effect as a hot pepper spray or even using something like a garlic oil. There was actually a study done in the University of California on the effectiveness of of aphids on cabbage plants. And what they did was they took various different uh, oils found around the garden and compared them. And what they found is their percentage of effectiveness was usually around 30 to 40% when sprayed on a sprayed on those plants that contain aphids. And the reason why it was only 30 to 40% effective was because they concluded that it was not due to the capsaicin found in the pepper spray, but more or less the oils contained in all of the, uh, the different um, materials that they used that was actually smothering out the eggs. And that's why there was more effectiveness, uh, that was why there was more effectiveness on, on controlling the population rather than killing them completely. So of all of the, the potential population, only 30 or 40% were affected because those were the eggs that were smothered. The remaining 60 to 70% were actually the adult phase that then laughed at whatever was being sprayed on them and went about their business. And this brings us to neem oil. How come neem oil works better than any of these other oils at, cont at controlling aphids? Why is, our, why is it our favorite uh, oil to use against aphids. And the reason is because of a chemical called azadiractin. See, azadiractin is an oil-based chemical found in neem oil, but it is also used to stop the life cycle and the, the ability for the aphids to breed. See, this is so much different than an oil found in capsaicin because capsaicin, remember, is hot to you and I, but not hot to the adults. Whereas if you spray neem oil, on the adults, what happens is that the the females will not be able to uh, they will not be able to create more eggs. It actually stops the um, the ovulation process of the eggs, and that means that they are then rendered sterile, and that ends the life cycle for good. Because what you can do is you can spray a hot pepper spray on your crops all day, but if you're not killing the adults, all they're doing is then they're laying more eggs. Sure, that oil is being effective at killing the eggs and smothering that, but the adults are simply going to lay more eggs. So what you need to do is understand what you're spraying and how you're spraying it and why it works because hot pepper sprays simply do not work better than any other oil that you'll find and really all you're doing is making your food spicy, which is something that most people don't desire. Now there is something effective to spraying your, there is some type of effect spraying your crops have uh, and that is against things like deer and rabbits. So if you do have deer and rabbits, spraying your crops with a hot pepper spray can be effective because ding, 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 those are mammals <laughs> and mammals won't like it. So. I do recommend spraying your crops uh, if you're having problems with deer and rabbits, but if you're having problems like most are with aphids, white flies, um, and, and, other, and other pests like that, uh, simply keep the hot peppers to your salsa and not in your garden. You'll find that the results are much better. And at least at the end of this episode, I hope you understand why it is, uh, why it works the way it works and why it doesn't really work the way it's claimed to work. And I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all spread this video around, spread the information to uh, separate this from the misinformation. I think a lot of people will, will really enjoy it and find it beneficial. And I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you did, click that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you're not yet already. And as always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel. We'll catch y'all later. See ya.